Hello and welcome to another live. It's Friday again and we're back to the topic of Christmas. I don't know if you've read the blog post today. Um, I emailed it this morning. I sent out the link. It was about simple entertaining ideas for Christmas because we tend to overcomplicate matters when in reality the intention is to meet a few loved ones, a few friends, gather up and have a really good time. So it's really important that we remember why we're entertaining. So the topic for today is Christmas decor, something I really love. I think it shows because I think the decor has been up for about 10 days now. Um, you can see just a little bit of my kitchen, but I've also shared a few snippets of our house um, inside of my stories. So if you've got Instagram, they're underneath my highlights. And I'm going to share a few styling tips. I know that some of you have expressed interest in my style and how I style the home in terms of Christmas decor. And so um, I'm going to give you the do's and don'ts um, for this particular Christmas style. And also I'm going to give you five really great tips to make any house sparkle. So stay till the end because you're going to want to hear each and every one. My name is Nakita. I run the Mama Manual blog and social media pages, and I love helping busy moms just like you to take control of your time and build a life that you truly love. And I like you to slow down and make some time for self-care because that is so important. So where are my Christmas lovers? Can I get a heart, a yes, some love? Can you see me? I can see some names popping up. I can see the numbers growing, but I'm not sure if you can listen to me and I'm not quite sure if you can see me either. So send some love my way. I can see Maria Pia and the Vichka and Maureen and I can see some love coming in as well. I know that you're all here because you love Christmas like I do. So um, this live I was really looking forward to. Um, hello to more faces. I can see familiar ladies popping in. It's great to have you here with me. So um, just in case you just joined, the topic for today is Christmas. Today's blog post was about simple entertaining ideas for Christmas. You don't need to overcomplicate matters and throw these huge parties to enjoy yourself. On the contrary, you can do really simple stuff and really have a good time. In fact, I'm indulging in one of those entertaining ideas myself, so I will share. Um, and the topic for this live is decorating the home for Christmas. I got some messages from moms asking me about um, where I buy my decor, how I style my house. And um, so I decided to share a few do's and don'ts and also give you five tips to make any house sparkle. So before we kick this off with all of the lovely information that I have ready for you, I would like to mention that today's Facebook Live is sponsored by Lechuza. I'm sure you've heard about Lechuza by now because I'm using the brand myself and they've also been sponsoring the past, I think, three Facebook Lives. Um, but if you haven't, Lechuza is a self-watering plant pot. Um, I have one of my own. The range is really fantastic. It's a wide range. You get different colors, textures, styles, shapes, sizes. Um, and last week, or it was this week actually, um, I went to one of the resellers um, to have a look at the range so I can give you a few Christmas ideas because these pots, they make fantastic gifts for everyone because, I mean, who doesn't love a self-watering plant pot? But I thought it would make a really fantastic gift for teachers. The thing is that if you can go to a place who stocks, and I will tell you who stocks them as well, let's choose a plant pot and also has plants, you can practically spend as much as you want. So whether you're buying a gift for the teacher and it's just yourself, or if you're pooling in and um, whatever budget you have, you can pick a range from all of their beautiful ranges. You can choose how many pots you wish. You can buy the plant, they will pot it for you as well. So you've got no worries at all. And you can pick something that definitely suits your budget. So um, if you're interested in the self-watering plant pots, Lechuza, they are stocked by F. Zammeed Garden Center in Ormi. If you have a look at my Christmas gifts highlights on Instagram, you will see the range. They are really beautiful. I, really, I would really love you to have a look at them. And also by Piscopo Garden Center in Burmarat. And of course, Playmobil Fun Park as well, um, because um, these plant pots, I'll just give you a little bit of a backstory about them. They're, they're made of plastic and the plastic is actually leftover plastic from making the Playmobil toys. So they're recycling the extra plastic and they're making them into these award-winning self-watering plant pots. So that's enough about lechuze and let's jump right into the topic. Christmas decorations. So, um, 
I'm going to say I'm guilty of this right off, but not too bad. I didn't do it too badly, but let me tell you about this one. You need to plan to decorate. Now, I did, um, but I kind of forgot one thing in the box. My husband packed it away and then we took it out again. So my house is all decorated, but I've got one item which is still um, lying somewhere over there and it needs to go up. So if you don't plan to decorate, if you don't actually look at your calendar and block a couple of hours, um, people who have large houses might even need two sets, maybe like four hours one day and four hours the next. You're going to get stressed about it. You're going to feel like you're stressed and oh my goodness, Christmas is getting closer. I, I need to decorate. I don't have time to decorate. So um, come November, or a little bit earlier, if you're like me and you like getting your decor up early, have a look at your calendar and block out the time so you can actually decorate for Christmas. Um, it has happened to me before. I've been worse off when I was um, quite disorganized. I used to put up my Christmas tree and have all the boxes in the corridor for a couple of days. I'm not too bad now, but my, uh, my wreath needs to go on the front door. That's just the one thing that I've got missing. But do block out time in your calendar. So that is your first do. The second do, pick one style. Do not just randomly buy items from different shops because they look lovely, because if you try to put them together, unless you're really good at an eclectic style, it's going to look a little bit um, messed up. So um, have a look, go on to Pinterest, look at different styles and try and decide which style suits you best. You can go for the more traditional um, decor, you can go for something very classical, something very modern, farmhouse style, woodland style, there are loads of styles available. Um, so try and hone in on what you like. Um, our style is a little bit Scandinavian, so um, we've got a lot of um, furs and greenery and the Christmas tree looks a little bit like, like a real tree and we've got a lot of white and it's quite simple. Um, but of course, everyone has different tastes, but just make sure you try and understand um, what style you like so that you can make an informed decision on what to buy instead of buying random stuff and trying to put it all together. So that's your second do. Your third do. This is big. Pick a color scheme. There are loads of colors today. You can even get the most beautiful pink Christmas decorations. In fact, I picked up a little bit for Nina and I'm adding a little bit every year as well because her bedroom is um, it's, it's decorated in pink for Christmas as well. So she's got pink tinsel and she's got flamingos with snow and it's really sweet. Um, but pick color schemes. So mainly, the one that I've chosen is um, white and gold with muted creams um, and that is the, those are the colors that we've chosen. You should pick two base colors and if you like a pop of colors, well, you can pick an accent color, but do not go over three colors unless they're very similar. For example, cream and gold are kind of one and the same, so that's fine. But do not go, for example, for white and gold and green and red because that is way too much. So you need to pick your colors and there are lots of um, beautiful color schemes that you can go for and we're spoiled for choice today. Sometimes it's a little bit of a problem because it's harder to choose. Um, but a few of my favorites are green, white and gold, um, gray, silver and purple, green, white and red, um, green, gold and red. And of course, I love my um, white, gold um, and creamy colors. So that, that is, of course, my favorite. Another tip for you, um, do decorate all the rooms because um, you do not really need to go overboard, but just putting a little bit of a small touch in every room um, gives an all round feeling of Christmas. So um, you can go with just a plain Christmas candle in the bedroom or at a wreath or a garland or a small Christmas tree or a nice Christmas sign. There are lots of beautiful little bits and pieces which do not cost the earth as well. You do not need to spend a lot of money today either to decorate your house for Christmas. And they really give that finishing touch to the home because everywhere you look, you can find um, little Christmas decorations. So that is my other do. Let's go on to the don't. So don't overcrowd your shelves. Um, I've got a lot of open shelving, as you know, so um, it's easy for me to do that. But what I like to do is for every Christmas decoration that I put on the shelf, I take away another one from the shelf and put it back into the Christmas box. 
So um, this is actually how you should do it. You should be replacing um, decorations that you have around the house with the Christmas decor. Um, if your house is already full of um, the home decor here and there, once you add in um, all the Christmas decorations, your house is going to look awfully busy and messy and the Christmas decorations won't even get um, the rightful attention that they deserve. So um, have a look around and see what needs replacing. Take away some stuff, put in some stuff. It's also nice because your house gets a fresh new look for the Christmas season. So another don't for you. This kind of ties in with what I was saying about the Christmas style. Um, do not shop blindly. Um, besides knowing what style and colors you're looking for, um, it's easy to just pop into the shops and buy and then um, realize, for example, that you've got 10 wreaths and you have another one. I'm exaggerating on purpose. I can't imagine anyone having 10 unless you have a really huge house. Um, but if you, like, for example, the best way to do this, if you're doing this for the first time, if you're being really intentional for the first time, what I would do is I would decorate, I would make a list and take note of the color schemes that I'm using and then shop afterwards. Every year before I pack my decorations, I have a look around the house, I see what's missing or what I could add because there's nothing really missing, but I also, I always like to add in a few bits and pieces. And I save that note digitally inside my notes app in my phone so that come next year, when the Christmas decorations start coming out or during the sale, if I want to buy anything else, I know exactly what I need. Um, if you follow me quite a bit and you tune into my lives, this is something that um, I like doing with not just Christmas decoration, but I also do it with my wardrobe, for example, and anything else that needs buying, because um, overbuying is not, a, it's not the best thing you can do. I mean, you'll end up with a lot of clutter, which then you'll feel guilty with parting with. So being intentional with what you're buying is really, really wise. Um, another don't, now some of you might like this, but um, I'm talking about my style today and I would, if you'd like to copy my style, I would tell you to not go overboard with Father Christmas or any other Christmas, um, anything else. My mom loves Father Christmas. She has a particular style. I like it, but it's not for me. And um, I think she has about 20 Santas in her house. I'm not kidding, but she's got a large house as well. But um, try and mix it up. It's not just Santa. There are Santa, there are reindeer, there's baby Jesus, there's the crypt, there are stars, there are twigs, there are, there, there are loads of beautiful Christmas um, figurines and pieces of decor that um, you can use to decorate your home. So um, if you want to have Santa in the home, that's fine. But um, if you're sticking to a style like mine, which is like white and creamy, don't go for the red Santa as well. You can find white Santas today and gold Santas today. So make sure that um, you're picking something which really matches the decor. Of course, if, for example, you want to go all out in the kids' rooms and you want to make it more fun with reindeer and Santa, just stick to another style and another color and um, just let them be. I mean, at the end of the day, Nina decorates her own room. If she wants to buy um, a particular um, decorational items, item for her room, I just let her be, they're kids. Um, but I like to um, kind of take control of the decorating of the main areas of the house, let's put it that way. Um, another don't for you. I see this quite a lot. Um, I don't think that a lot of people are aware of this. Um, I just learned it recently as well because I was um, researching tips on um, Christmas decor a few years back. Um, this tip actually works really well. Um, when you're decorating your tree, I don't know about you mamas, but what I used to do is I used to take my, uh, my baubles and my decorations and I used to kind of space them out evenly. And it used to look good. And then I was reading up one day and I realized, and it makes total sense, that the heavier decorations should go to the bot at the bottom of the tree because obviously the bottom is much wider. And um, you build the tree by always going to the smaller decorations and the tiniest ones go to the very top. This also counts for tinsel and ribbon because sometimes I see the most beautiful trees, but then there is this ribbon which is also beautiful, but it's so heavy 
that all you see is ribbon going around the tree and at the top, um, in fact, it, you should have maybe an arrow or ribbon or maybe you could even tuck it into the tree so it's not as obvious at the top. So if you use ribbon um, or you use tinsel, try using this tip and see how better your tree balances out because I tried it myself and it looks so much better. So a little bit of a break and I'll say some hellos. And so, ooh, quite a bit of ladies have popped in here. Okay, lovely. So Evichka says hello and Nat says hello. Hello, ladies. Annalise, hello to you. Maronia, hello, sweetie. Hello, lovely lady. Lovely to see you here. Annalise says hello from me and my little Melona. That's a really nice name, Annalise. I love it. So hi, Melona. <laughs> Stacy and Bernadette and Jocelyn, Alexia and Claudia and Thea, Aneta, hi Aneta, and Katya and Denise and the Vichka. Sienna says hello. She thought you can hear her. Oh, gorgeous little thing. Hello, Sienna. And say hello to, to Roberto for me as well, okay? Hi, Christina. And Christina says, I love snowmen. Yes, that's actually, um, I love snowmen as well. They're really sweet. I do um, have um, a snowman, but I try to balance them out. So um, I have deer as well. Um, and um, I have, hmm, this happens to me quite a lot. I blank all of a sudden. Nutcracker, the soldiers. What are the soldiers called? Please help me here. Anyway, Comments come up really late, so I'm sure someone will get um, down to, to writing it um, in the comments. But anyhow, the cute soldiers. Mine are um, gold and cream and white, actually. They're really sweet. Maureen says, hi, Nak and Christina. Hiya. So, unless any one of you has remembered what the, show, what the soldiers are called, I'm going to continue with the tips now. <laughs> so, yes, Nutcracker. I was, I said it, but I wasn't sure. Does it happen to you? I guess that's mom brain for you. So, um, Francan, thank you for helping me out because it's Friday as well. And on a Friday, my brain tends to slow down as well. It's telling me, um, hey, mama, time to take it easy. <laughs> so let's go on to the tips. Yes, Nutcracker, Maureen, that was it. <laughs> so my five tips to make any house sparkle. So literally, Fairy lights. Can you see them all around me? Um, fairy lights are as cheap as chips and can have the most beautiful effect on your home. You can um, use them on Christmas trees, on shelves, inside of vases, just lying, lying um, on the open shelving. You can do loads with them. Um, windows as well and doors um, and also candles. I think that... Um, Having the little candles and the little fairy lights really gives off this nice um, ambience. And it's a very cheap way to decorate. It's a very cozy way as well to decorate. And um, it's very classy too. The only thing is that it, it's a bit of a headache to turn everything on and everything off again. But um, I don't usually turn on all of the lights and candles during the week. I just pick an area and turn on some, some, um, some of them. But um, during the weekend, I'll just light up everywhere because um, as much as we like going out, we also like spending time in the home. And um, so if we're home, like for example, this evening, um, I will really enjoy looking at the house all lit up and um, probably I have some Christmas carols on as well. And um, I'll be in heaven. <laughs> so your next tip is to decorate with gifts. Gifts, when wrapped nicely, um, and when you buy, of course, you need to buy wrapping paper which matches your style and your color scheme, can really finish off um, a Christmas tree because Christmas tree without gifts underneath, mine is still empty, unfortunately. Um, can, it really looks complete. And it's also a really great way to um, decorate because you can get um, nice wrapping paper. I also love wrapping, um, wrapping in brown paper and then just buying a nice ribbon and having these pretty accents on the wrapping paper. Um, my, my, the backdrop for me is that I hate wrapping. Um, I've got very little patience and um, I could do it really well if I wanted to, but I don't like doing it. And 
My husband helps out a lot because he's such a perfectionist when it comes to wrapping. I wish I could do it, but I'm usually quite anxious to get it over with. And my wrapping paper ends up a little wonky, but <laughs> then I try to do my best with the bows and cover up all the sins. <laughs> but um, decorating with gifts um, is also a super idea. Um, so, soft furnishings as well are a brilliant addition to your Christmas decor. Um, things like cushions, you can just change the cushion covers. Um, you can even just pop on another cover on top of the one that you have if, it's, um, if it can fit, unless it's too tight. And what I usually do is I remove them, I wash them, and then I fit them back on and I put the Christmas one on top of it again. Um, Christmas tablecloth, you can use, um, you can have Christmas carpets as well. I have a carpet as well, which goes um, in front of our front door. Actually, um, it's not there yet. <laughs> it's that and the wreath, which I didn't get done. Um, and it's really cute because it's a light up carpet. So as soon as people step on it, the, the fairy lights inside of the carpet light up. So it's really sweet. Um, and dishcloths as well and oven mitts. All of these little bits and pieces that are really, um, they don't take up much space. Um, there's a beautiful selection of products available as well, so you can really pick and choose the ones that match your color scheme and the ones that match your style. And they have a huge impact because a large tablecloth and matching cushions and all of these complementary bits and pieces can really have a nice effect on your Christmas decor. So number four, scented candles, essential oils. If it smells like Christmas, it will feel like Christmas. So, um, smells are, um, scents, smells, scents, <laughs> Christmas scents, um, are also very important to me. Um, that smell of cinnamon, maybe mixed in with a little vanilla and I've got a mulled wine candle. All of these lovely scents really put the final touches. They're like the cherry on the cake. Um, and my last tip, tip number five, I love Christmas garlands. So I have a huge one. Um, on the top of my cupboards. You might have seen it because a lot um, of people comment on it. And um, I feel that it kind of fills the room. It makes it cozy. It gives it this wintry effect. I have this fake snow on top of on my garland and on my Christmas tree as well. Truly a nightmare until you get all the stuff um, uh, decorated and up. In fact, this year, you might have seen my stories. I was wearing a mask. Um, to decorate my tree because it's a nightmare because you start inhaling all this fake snow and it's really really bad you start sneezing and coughing but anyhow once it's up yes you need to sweep regularly because the snow still comes um down um, onto the floor from time to time and um, but the effect that this garland has is incredible so if you haven't seen all of my christmas decor you can go to my instagram account and um, under my highlights, there's one called Christmas Decor. So you can see all of the stuff that I've mentioned here today. Of course, I don't have the carpet and I don't have the wreath yet um, because they're not up. Oops, we'll get them up this weekend. But all the rest you can, um, you can see inside of my Instagram highlights. So um, I'm going to say hello as well before I say goodbye for today. Fransan also loves fairy lights and Nat also says I love to see the house lit up and staying inside cozy in winter it's it, it's fun it's my idea of fun that and the kids running around the house and the hubby next to me and a glass of mulled wine which I also love or chai tea my favorite drinks um, and Nat seems to be in love with all of the decorations that I've mentioned um, and yes, Fransan, mulled wine. I love it too. Even like when you have, um, when, when you're warming up the mulled wine, the smell, that, the, the scent that, that's going around the house is incredible. Um, you can use your slow cooker, Fransan, to keep the mulled wine warm. So if you've got people over and you don't want to keep switching the stove top on and off, if you're not using your slow cooker, you can actually pour the mulled wine into the slow cooker and um, after it heats up, you can put it on keep warm and then you can just pour the mulled wine into the glasses. So that's a great way to use your slow cooker this Christmas. Um, so I guess that's it, mums, for today. It was fun. Um, just a reminder to pop into my Instagram highlights to 
not just check out the Christmas decor, but also the Christmas gift ideas. Um, Nat is asking how I do my chai tea. I buy it ready-made, but my husband has a really good recipe for it. And sometimes he makes it for me and it is divine. So obviously he, um, he makes it in batches and we put it in the fridge and it's really good. So I'll ask him for the recipe and um, I will share it um, inside of my stories on a Facebook post. But I will surely um, let you know um, what recipe my husband uses, Nat. Um, thank you very much for tuning in. It was really fun. Um, I will see you next week for another live. In the meantime, take care and enjoy decorating for Christmas. I'd love to see some photos from you as well. So if you'd love to share, I would love to see them. Have a nice weekend. Bye.